today um, is Saturday. Time for my grocery haul. I went to Walmart and Little Butcher Shop and picked up just a few things. This is the last Saturday of March and I didn't need a whole lot. But I did spend, you know, I, well, I didn't spend all my money. Uh, $50 budget is what I had this week. So let me show you what I got this morning. Okay, these are the items that I got. Let's just start over here at Walmart. And I did get, it's a, this is a two-pack of the 18 eggs. So, 36 eggs for $6.06. Um, ouch. But, you know, eggs are up. But they're down from what they were, I think, a year ago. Like, this, the big box of 60 eggs had gone up to over $20. And now that's back down to around 10 a little over ten dollars but um but you know that, i mean it is what it is when you need eggs that's the price you pay and i did shop around and this weekend this is the cheapest so that's what i got and then i got i got the cottage cheese small curd cottage cheese just great value brand cottage cheese this is 267 i got the sugar-free strawberry preserves these are 312 I got the, these are like Ritz crackers, so I got that and $2.72 for that. And then the last thing I got at Walmart is two bags of the broccoli cuts. Now, um, if I can, I, these are kind of hard to find, the broccoli cuts, the 12 ounce bags. Um, they're hard to find because I guess people buy them up, but these are cheaper than the broccoli florets. And if I'm going to do like a loaded broccoli i'm chopping them up even smaller anyway so i don't need florets which are a dollar 16 but the cuts themselves just the cuts same size bag is 94 cents so that's why i got that and well here is here is my little walmart receipt so before tax this was 16.45 and with tax it was 17.60 okay now over here little butcher shop I didn't again did not need much but let me show you what I found out uh, if I'm going to little butcher shop this is what I'm going for mainly is the ground beef it's always $2.99 a pound this is what just over three and a quarter pounds nine dollars and 81 cents for that big thing of um, ground beef and then I did pick up this jalapeno and cheese cornbread this is just like my Nana used to make uh, three fifty nine dollars for that. And then these stuffed potatoes are $6.99 each. But I found these particular ones in the frozen section. And if you buy them already frozen, they are buy one, get one free. So um, $6.99 for the four stuffed potatoes instead of $6.99 for each package. So, y'all, that was a good deal. So that was what I got at the Little Butcher Shop. And here is my receipt from the Little Butcher Shop. Before tax, this was $20.39. And with tax, $21.82. And I did do the math on the back side of this. So I just round up each receipt to the nearest dollar. So $22 for the Little Butcher Shop, $18 for Walmart. That puts us at $40. $10 left from this week's budget. Now... I did not do a pantry prep this week, so I think I will take that $5 for this week and put it towards next week, and then next week I'll have $10 for pantry preps. Okay, let's take a look at this week's menu plan. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Um, so today we're going to have, this is for the evening meal, not breakfast, not lunch. I just planned for the evening meal. So today we're going to have... Either cheeseburger sliders or burger bowls, just whichever we want. And tomorrow is Easter, so I've got a ham in the freezer. So we're going to have ham and then just a side of green beans and, again, whatever we want for a side. And then Monday, we're going to have, I've got salmon in the freezer, pan-seared salmon with steamed broccoli. Tuesday, we're going to have chicken enchiladas. I've got some low-carb tortillas. And Wednesday will be leftovers. Thursday, oven roasted. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I, you know what? That was another week. I'm going to have to fix that. We're going to do, um, we're not going to do that. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do a let's see let me get my pen okay there we go that's what I meant to put there I just what I do when I when I create this in my computer I just kind of change the dates and I go through and I change the meal meals and I just didn't change this this was from a previous week so I'm gonna have that leftover bone from Sunday so I'm gonna make a ham soup and I'll just do that in the instant pot it'll make it go a whole lot quicker so ham soup on that day and then Friday will be leftovers and I guess work lunches some kind of salad chef salad or even leftovers you know that'll work for either one or the other but I am just not gonna buy lunch at from work I mean you know I mean there's all kinds of restaurants around there but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna take a lunch and save that money all right um, I'll be right back well there's my grocery haul and menu plan for this week um, I am going to set aside that $5 for this week's pantry preps because I did not get anything for pantry prep. I'm going to just get some, find something next week that I need. But I've got to do some organizing in here in my, in my cabinets. And that's part of what I'm going to do later on today. And so that I can kind of get a good visual on what I have and maybe what I need for the pantry. But um, yeah, we got Easter tomorrow it's a really early service, 8 in the morning, so um, I've got a lot to get done today. I may be out, I've got to go run an errand or two, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a vlog about that. But, um, but that's going to be it for today's video, today's grocery haul and weekly menu plan. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.